Powtoon Animation, how to use Powtoon Animation videos. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Powtoon and how to create premium videos using Powtoon. So let's get into it. Now, animated videos are such an amazing way to convey information and it is one of the widely used ways where people can easily create, where people can easy, easily create content without having to share their own personal identity. And that is why I feel like animation is so helpful. And animation has been a part of the video content production for a while now. Everyone has seen cartoons and now animation has been moved to a more professional setting with more professional tools like Powtoon. Now, to get started with Powtoon animation, we're just going to go on to powtoon.com and then you're just going to click on try for try it for free over here on the bottom left and then you're going to click on sign up to Powtoon. So you can choose to enter your email address over here or you can sign up with Google, Facebook or you can even sign up with Microsoft or LinkedIn. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account and I will just continue uh, via my Google account to fulfill my login and to just create my Powtoon animation space and then we're just going to get started now they're going to ask you a couple of questions like where what kind of video content you're looking to make and i'm just going to make it for personal needs and then for social media now after that you're just going to be your basic dashboard so we're going to minimize this now on your left uh you have your basic creation tools you have your home page which is going to be your home dashboard and then you can see below that you have your templates import and blank this is a new workspace that they've created previously if we click on go back to classic workspace their workspace uh, not was not as animated now this was their classic workspace uh i actually prefer the new workspace that they have created it was just a recent change so we're going to go back onto the new workspace which most of you will now be using now you can see over here to get started let's say we want to create a animated video uh first off you can click on the templates on the left over here and take a look at the different templates that are available there are presentation templates there are video templates there is a lot that you can do and then you can click on your top right over here and search templates and you can search for a specific kind of template template so let's say i want to search for a gym related template so i'm just going to search for gym and then you can see these video templates that are available regarding gym or let's say i want school related templates so you can see these are school related templates over here now you can also click on blank over here and start from scratch to begin creating your own video let's say uh, i want to create a square video that is going to be probably for social media or something along those lines and i'm just going to begin Again, creating our own animated video for any kind of platform like Instagram. So first off, you can see this is going to be uh, on the bottom of your canvas. This is your canvas and on the bottom of your canvas, you will have your timeline. So from here, you can adjust the timings of the animations. Now, the first thing that I like to do is what I like to do is I, go, I like to choose the kind of Powtoon I want to create. So you can see on your top right over here, you have the Powtoon that you have. So this is the margin edge look. You also have a whiteboard look you have a cartoon look you have an infographic a real look so uh, i want to create maybe a whiteboard kind of animation so once you do that this is going to change up the suggestions from over here uh, you're going to be able to create different scenes so first uh, on your right side you have your scenes you have background text characters props you have shapes you have images videos audio and special effects that you can add now to begin creating our um, creating our little animated video we're going to click on scenes and we're going to click on intros over here and then we're just going to use one of the uh, character intros uh, so I'm just going to add this over here. So you can see over here now I'm just going to place this right around the center and I'm just going to resize everything and then I'm going to add a different name. Welcome or maybe I I'm going to remove the arrow because I don't think I will need it and I will resize this welcome text. So I'm just going to resize this over here. And I'm going to place this over here and I'm going to place some bottom text, which is going to be the hazards of social media. And then I'm just going to reduce this like so. And now this is going to be the first frame within our video. Now, after that, you're going to click on blank slide and then we're going to enter our second frame into our animated video. Now you can see this is like the movement of our character. This is what it's going to look like. So you can see it's just a very uh, simple and easy transition that we have added. You can also add more transitions 
transitions and you can also click on the scene and click on extend as well so a scene is extended onto a longer time period but i'm just going to click on delete and then you can also click on add scene and then you can add a specific scene after your slide now after that you can also do a lot more like let's say if you have this simple kind of uh, text and character you can also click on characters on the right over here and then you can also click on marker characters you can click on this and then you can add another character and then you can add this character over here at the bottom so if you want you can add multiple but i'm going to go continue with one and then we're going to move on to our second slide now after that i'm going to add a second scene so i'm just going to click on scenes once more so i'm going to click on scenes and then i'm going to click on situations and within the situations i'm going to click on this one over here so i'm just going to use this entire situation and I'm going to resize this calendar. I'm going to move the clock over here. And I'm going to place this over here. So you can move some of the items that are still present outside the frame that you have chosen. But once you have created that frame, what you're going to do is I'm going to click on text over here. I'm going to click on add title. And I'm just going to add, did you know social media can inhibit your ability to work like this and then i'm going to click on the color i'm going to make it black so i'm just going to select the color and i'm going to make it black and then i am just going to resize my text as well and now i'm going to rotate this slightly and now i'm going to place it over here and you can obviously stylize it as you want but you can see this is what it's currently looking like and then once you've done that, you can just click on export over here and click on download mp4 for you to be able to download your animated video. So you can just click on export over here and then you can click on public link and then you can just add a public link. So click on generate link. And now anyone with the link can view this video so i can just open this up and go and view this animated video or you can also click on publish click on download mp4 and then download this mp4 now i have added a few premium animations that is why i will have to subscribe to the premium version of powtoon to use these animations you can also upload directly onto youtube you can upload your animation or creation onto powtoon as well you can also download this as a pbt or you can download it as an animated gif a simple plain image slide as well but this is what our video is currently looking like so this is how it's like a simple animated video and then you can see this is how all of this is going to appear you can also go back into powtoon and then you can click on blank slide you can create all of these situations yourself these scenes are just a way for you to minimize the amount of work that it's going to take you it's just something that will enable you to create a video in lesser time but if you want to start from scratch create your own custom scenes using uh, animated figures you can do that as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own animated videos using powtoon make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions regarding powtoon leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video